Hi, BookTube. I'm recording on my laptop, so we're partying like it's 2013, which is fine because it's Friday and it's been a week. And I promised myself and I promised you that I would film Friday read videos every Friday. So here I am keeping my promises. Um, I don't have anything to report, really, because I am still working on, let me pull the book. I'm still work. It's going to be reversed because it's my laptop, but it's a Phoenix first must burn. Oh man, I I really, really, really hope that I can finish this tonight because I'm done with this book. I have two more stories left, and I will say that I am I'm enjoying it, but I want to get into a novel, and I'm not sure what I want to read next. Um, I definitely know that what I want to read is going to have to satisfy a prompt for the readathon, which is, excuse me, the Canadian um, readathon as well as the fuckathon. So I'm reading a Phoenix First Must Burn for the fuckathon. Now that I only have two stories left, I think I'm in a really good position to figure out which prompt it'll satisfy. I want to say that it's that it could like uh, many of the stories can satisfy the fuck capitalism um, prompts, so I might use it for that. Um, I might also use it for fuck book elitism because I think that short the the idea that you know we have short stories written like that are about black girl magic um, that are written by people at different points in their career could also be. A really interesting discussion point around book elitism given that we have so many incredible black writers but not enough support for their work so we'll see but I'm tired so I don't have a lot of ideas right now um, I was on quarantined pages and it was really nice to hang out with people there so I'm gonna put in a little plug for quarantine pages as you may know since March 30th March 30th we have a group of now nine of us, I think, ten of us. Um, we have been bringing one-hour silent reading sessions to BookTube and to the bookish world. So if you, and we're still going strong every single day, a different host is hosting one hour of silent reading. So if you are interested, you should check out um, at quarantined pages on Twitter. So at I'll put it somewhere in in there um, at quarantined PGS, and we also have an Instagram. Um, what else do I want to say about reading or book life or anything like that? I do want to I do want to give a little thank you because um, the uh, so. Tochio Nibuchi is releasing the second book in the World War Girls series called Rebel Sisters. And today, after one tweet, um, Tochi and Penguin Teen um, decided to provide an arc to Brittany from Melanin Eclectic. And I'm really happy about that. So thank you, Tochi, and thank you, Penguin uh, teen for being so awesome. Own reviews, own voices reviews are so important. But also, there's literally no one on BookTube who loves Tochi Onyabuchi's writing more than Brittany at Melon and Eclectic. So Brittany is my shout out for uh, for this video. So definitely check out her channel and subscribe, watch her videos all the way through and like. She's amazing. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Is there, is there anything else I have to say about my reading? No. Are you enjoying it? I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I know you're ready to move on to a more fulsome read. Yes. I think that's it. That's it. Okay. So we're done. Thank you very much for watching. And look, I have this little spot right here where I stick my finger. It looks like your head was it looks like my head was kissed, says Tommy. It's a little spot. Okay. Um, I gotta go to bed. So <laughs> I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Remember um, to 
Read with purpose. Read with purpose. Read with purpose, friends. Don't waste your imagination. Read with purpose.